The aim of the Next Generation Civil Tilt Rotor, Next Gen CTR, program is to design, install and demonstrate, in flight, innovative civil tilt rotor technologies enabling future prototype development. The goal is to show significant improvement relative to state-of-the-art tilt rotors. The project will also enable the development of R&D activities which will increase the know-how needed for future tilt rotor aircraft and their operation. It will achieve this by accumulating a volume of research and innovation activities not available today within the EU, and equivalent to that of conventional helicopter platforms. A large-scale flight-worthy demonstrator embodying the innovative tiltrotor rotorcraft architecture will be designed, integrated and flight tested. With a first flight plan for 2023, the next-gen CTR demonstrator will enable technology readiness level 6 to be reached at whole aircraft level in a basic configuration in 2023. The primary objectives are to demonstrate the potential to minimize CO2, reduce noise footprint, and lower the cost of ownership, while maximizing speed, efficiency and productivity. The technology demonstrator will benefit from being an existing platform into which innovative technologies will be incorporated, which are scalable to different sizes of aircraft in the future as market requirements demand. Key research areas are Advanced wing architecture Tail structure and configuration non-tilting engine installation with efficient nacelle architecture and split gearbox drivetrain Advanced flight control with a modular, distributed and scalable flight control system NextGen Center's activities aim to validate a new tilt rotor architecture enabling technologies, systems and operational concepts, and demonstrate significant improvements relative to current state-of-the-art tilt rotors. To realize the targeted CO2 emission reduction, the next-gen CTR will continue the development of the engine installation and of the flight trajectories optimization by validating, at full scale, results gleaned from the Clean Sky 1 program. Clean Sky 2 activities will focus on drag reduction of the fuselage and wing, new generation of prop rotors, and modified fuselage wing architecture. Research areas will also cover new materials such as thermoplastic matrix composites, surface treatments, as well as more electrical systems, while validating them at full scale and in real operational conditions. The NextGen CDR project structure is based on three major technical tasks complemented by one task related to the management of the program, while, in respect of the air vehicle design and development, activities are implemented through seven major tasks. Task 1 Design Integration provides overall design management to ensure that the project delivers a coherent and safe design complying with systems engineering principles. Detailed requirements management, system reliability, safety, and airworthiness are incorporated into the overall design approach. Task 2 Tilt Rotor System Design ensures that the overall tilt rotor design is optimized to achieve requirements in terms of general size and layout, mass, performance, aeromechanics, aerodynamic efficiency, noise impact, rotor and airframe loads, and structural dynamics, at aircraft level. This will involve developing overall requirements, maintaining predictions against requirements as the design develops, and validating the design to support certification for ground and flight demonstrations. Task 3 Transmission Systems has responsibility for the design, manufacture and testing of the drive system components for safe and reliable operations, low environmental impact, low production and operational costs. These include the prop rotor, the accessory gearboxes and the drive shafts which can couple the rotors in the event of an engine failure. Task 4 Rotor Systems investigates technologies and alternate architectures for the rotor hub, rotor blade and rotor control system for safe and reliable operations, low environmental impact, low production and operational costs. Task 5 Airframe Structures covers the architecture definition, design, manufacture and validation of the fuselage, wing and landing gear. The tail section of the fuselage and associated equipment developed under the airframe ITD by Leonardo Helicopters and its core partners will be integrated into the whole design under the fast rotorcraft IADP. The wing includes a fixed inboard portion and a tiltable outboard portion. It will provide integral fuel storage, movable flight control surfaces, and lift augmentation systems, while housing several systems, including the interconnecting drive shaft linking the two prop rotors for operation in single engine conditions. Task 6. Electrical and avionic systems will cover the design, development and testing of the electrical power generation and distribution system, EPGDS, the flight control system, including software, and the core avionic systems. Task 7. Airframe systems will define and design the engine installation, engine control and fuel systems for optimization of the tilt rotor's aerodynamic performance. This will be carried out in collaboration with an engine supplier which will support the integration of the engine, supporting structure and systems. The engine will be an adaptation of an existing commercially available turboshaft. Aerodynamic optimization of the intake and exhaust will provide optimal overall engine performance throughout the flight regimes. Intake and exhaust flow management will target drag minimization of the complete engine installation in high-speed crews. Specific engine control tasks include the integration of the flight control laws, while tasks related to fuel systems cover the development of fuel system architecture. The assembly of the next-gen CTR demonstrator will start by developing the necessary tooling and systems. At this stage, flexible manufacturing techniques will be evaluated to support, and minimize, jig and tooling design, development and manufacturing. Integrated test equipment and procedures will be implemented to provide cost-effective clearance for ground and flight tests. 
Ground tests will include the manufacturing of relevant mock-ups and test rigs, as well as the development and integration of necessary instrumentation to monitor and measure all physical parameters during ground tests, flight operations, and the validation of design predictions. These tests will include both real-time monitoring as well as post-test analyses. A tilt rotor is an aircraft which generates lift and propulsion by way of one or more powered rotors, sometimes called prop rotors, mounted on rotating shafts or nacelles usually at the ends of a fixed wing. Almost all tilt rotors use a transverse rotor design, with a few exceptions that use other multirotor layouts. Tilt rotor design combines the VTOL capability of a helicopter with the speed and range of a conventional fixed-wing aircraft. For vertical flight, the rotors are angled so the plane of rotation is horizontal, generating lift the way a normal helicopter rotor does. As the aircraft gains speed, the rotors are progressively tilted forward, with the plane of rotation eventually becoming vertical. In this mode the rotors provide thrust as a propeller, and the airfoil of the fixed wings takes over providing the lift via the forward motion of the entire aircraft. Since the rotors can be configured to be more efficient for propulsion, e.g. with root tip twist, and it avoids a helicopter's issues of retreating blade stall, the tilt rotor can achieve higher cruise speeds and takeoff weights than helicopters. A tilt rotor aircraft differs from a tilt wing in that only the rotor pivots rather than the entire wing. This method trades off efficiency in vertical flight for efficiency in stole STOVL operations. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. I'm a mortal